Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for a bit more Sudoku tomfoolery today. And um, every day on the channel I mention our apps and our Patreon content and I've found myself quite often harking back to um, the Modern Art Sudoku pack which we put up in early December. Now I've done two or three puzzles from that, Simon's done one. I've always kept meaning to go back one last time and uh, there were two puzzles in there by uh, Mr. Toffee who is I think the man known to us as Tom Fry who um, has specialised in slow thermo puzzles and I found this very excellent representation of Pablo Picasso's uh, La Colombe Bleue, the Blue Dove, um, which you can see the picture of here and you can see how well that has been rendered in Sudoku form. Um, and as I say, I'm going to give this one last go. There was a there was a second puzzle by Mr. Toffee in that modern art Sudoku pack, um, the Vitruvian Man, which is like a huge samurai Sudoku of five combined grids full of slow thermos looking like uh, Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man drawing and that really is very impressive. I don't think it's within the powers of our software to uh, solve on the channel and would probably take an awful long time so um, I don't think that's going to happen on the channel but I did see that uh, Mr Toffee has recently brought out or, or created somehow a book um, of many of his slow thermo animal and other creations and uh, if you want to track that down just get on our discord server find Mr Toffee ask him for a coffee I'm sure he will get you one somehow um, no idea how that works but give it a go and well done to him for having created enough of these puzzles to achieve that and let's just remind us of the rules of slow thermo I'm quite proud of the term which I think I came up with because these thermometers go a bit more slowly than the normal ones and that is because as you go along the thermometers um, you start at the bulb with the low it must increase from the bulb or stay the same along the thermometer so it never goes downwards now what that means let's look at this three cell thermometer here bye bye birdie by the way let's look at this three cell thermometer here now in a normal thermo that has to have one number here a larger one here and a larger one here now the first part of that is the same in a slow thermo because these are in the same box normal sudoku rules apply so this now has to be a larger digit than that because it's not allowed to be smaller however this digit can now be the same as that one and this is the difference this is why you get slightly longer lines slightly more capability of kind of doing drawings with just a few thermo lines and that's what we've got here now the, the green lines that go out of the grid they were just part of the aesthetics they're not really relevant but the the green lines in the grid are part of thermos starting from this bulb I think in this puzzle you have to trace any line back to the one uh, bulb that it connects to so do give it a try on the link below the video. It got two stars on the Sudoku pack, so not one of the harder, hardest puzzles in that pack, but I don't know, I haven't tried it. And I do remember that this, this slow thermo stuff can slightly play with your expectations if you've done a lot of thermo Sudoku. Anyway, give it a go on the link under the video. I'm gonna try now, let's get cracking and well, I mean, we've got this very long one, but let's count carefully. So what I'll do is assume, actually there's two very long ones. I'm going to assume that we stay as low as we can. So I see what we get to at the end. One, two, three, four, five. They're all in the same box. Six, because it's on the same column as the five, but now we can stay at six, seven, eight. So there's just one degree of freedom all the way along here and Frankly, I think it's obvious that we should enter all the candidates along there. So we get to six, seven there, then we stay the same at six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. Now, what about this one? One, two, same technique. One, two, three, four, four again, five, five again, six. And then we'll take the longest fork, obviously. Six again, seven seven again eight so again one degree of freedom there 
And that might well already give us some pairs looking across in a moment when I get a chance to do that. Five, six, six, seven. This can be six, seven again. Seven, eight, seven, eight, eight, nine. Yes, that's worked. I've got to nine at the end. One, two, no. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. I mean, that turns out this one, which looks quite long in normal thermo terms, is a very, sh very short line indeed under slow thermo rules. Anyway, what have we achieved? Oh, we haven't got any matches along here. And that's irritating. Right, this one is at least higher than six. So seven, eight, or nine there. But this could be literally anything more than one, as far as I can see. Wow, okay, so we haven't got much of a start here at all in the end. I, I really thought we were gonna get a lot more. Um, and okay, what I need to do is what Simon would have done is focused on something like this row and the question of where a nine can be in it. And that's what I pro probably should have been thinking about originally. Uh, even in slow thermo, no, it's not true actually, but I was gonna say nine can only ever be on the end of a thermo. That is not quite true. Oh, in fact, it's definitely not true. And even in this line, I thought I was going to be able to put a nine there, but actually I now see that this could be a nine as well, as long as that's a nine. So all I'm doing is confining nine to one of those two cells. Um, this could even be a nine here. That's so weird with a nine there. Um, okay, so I'm not looking at this the right way for exactly the reasons I expected. So one, two, no, one, one, two, two, three, three, four. Again, four is possible there. Wow, okay. Need to think, oh, look here. Here is where my pair is. Sorry, column four, I've got an eight, nine pair. So that's very useful. So that gives me, this must be a seven, this must be a six. This must be a six. Let's get this right. Now I'm at the, no, I'm at the low end, am I? Yes, five. I can trace this all the way back to the beginning of this thermo. Three, two, one, and that must be right. Right, so three is looking across at that. So that's resolved. Um, we do have a seven, eight, nine triple there. This must be eight or nine, not because it's increased from that, but because it can't be the same as that. Now I've got an eight, nine pair in the box. Is that useful? Well, interestingly, this can't be nine, eight, seven or six from the column. So it's two, three, four or five. This is one, two, three or four. This one has to be higher than that, but can't be seven, eight, or nine from the box. So three, four, five, or six. Um, I think it might be worth starting to put in the possibilities here, even though this thermo in neither version has to go above four, which is absolutely weird. There will be some restrictions as we go. So. I'm gonna fill in all the possibilities. I honestly think I have to start with one to six there. What I'm gonna do first is fill in all the possibilities, as I say, and then I'm gonna limit them based on what, what digits these can see, because otherwise I'm just gonna end up in confusion. I think, now I might, have, I might have got this a bit wrong. We're up to eight there. That's fine for this branch. Coming back this way. Oh yeah, it absolutely is the same. Right, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we just consider this, these lines in isolation, we get all these possibilities. But now, obviously, let's start in this column. These two, can't, these two can't be six and seven. Actually, that can't be eight. We've got an eight, nine pair as well. That can't be six. So those have got a bit restricted. Um, 
That means on the thermo, this can't be six, seven, or eight. It also can't be five in the column. That means this can't be five or four. It has to be less. So we are getting narrowed down considerably now. Um, this one now has to be less than two or three. So it's one or two, same at the beginning. Now, what about this? It has to be higher than three, but it can't be five or six in the column. And this, oh, it can't be four in the box. Oh, that's quite significant because now it's shot up to seven, eight or nine, which must be the same for the N digit. This, I can only take six out, I think. Um, okay, but now, got a one two three four quadruple there so this is seven eight or nine as well which of these is six I don't know that's not very useful um, one two three four it is very easy to go wrong in the pencil markings I hope I haven't done it yet there is every chance I have um, apologies if so What is more likely is that I haven't removed pencil marking that I could remove, um, and that does happen as well. So I'm putting in six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, this one can't be nine because it has to be less than that. They're in the same box. One of those is a nine, so that can't be nine as well. Ah, four by Sudoku, four and four there. This is where four is in column three. Yes, sorry, that four was looking straight at that. Um, now, that means this can't be three. That means this can't be four. Doesn't affect these at all. Now, what have we got here? We've got an eight, nine pair, a seven, six. Hmm, still one, three, four, and five and two but but that one can't be a two to go in the column have they got narrowed down not really no ah oh, two by sudoku those twos are telling me that we need a two in there so it's clearly got to be here that's nice three in this row must be over here somewhere now that it looks a very little deduction, but it's incredibly helpful because once I put a four here, because three in the box is in one of those two, that gets me the whole of the rest of this longest thermo. Actually, it's probably not longest, equally longest. Now that nine fixes this as an eight. That makes that a seven. Um, what else have I picked up here? Seven and seven, oh, that means this can't be a seven. Seven in the box must actually be in one of those two cells. Six, seven, eight. I mean, it just isn't straightforward. It's intriguing how, how tricky this form can be. Three there. So we have three, seven, eight, and nine to place. Okay, well, that's... So three, seven, eight, nine to go in the box. But where is four in this row? The only place possible is here. Um, oh, weirdly, oh no, not weirdly, that can't be a six. Sorry, I've just spotted that. Six looking at it. Where is six in this box? It's gotta be here now. Uh, that's gonna put six in one of those two cells. Oh, that can't be four anymore, nor can that. Still one, two, three possible there, yes. Ah, oh, that eight is looking at that cell, which won't help anything else, but does give me that as a nine. That takes nine out of there. In fact, one of these three must be nine, which is not interesting news. Um, ah, this can't be five anymore. One or three there. So now we've got a one, two, three triple. So that's where the five is. 
Good Lord. So then we can put six on the end of that thermo. That's really neat. Two is now in one of those two cells in box two. Therefore, definitely in one of those two cells, which is hardly surprising. Um, and we've got one, two, three, four to place up here, but those two can't be two and this can't be four. In fact, four, five, six, seven, nine, we've got one, two, three, and eight to place in row three. Now this can't be one, because even in slow thermo, it's got to be bigger than this number. This can't be one. This can't be two or one, because it has to be bigger. So this is the only place where the green lines are really helping us at all. Ah, but that seems to have ruled one out of all those three cells. Lovely. So one goes in here. These can't have a one. We get a three, four pair. We know where two is. These can't be eight since we put an eight down here. Seven, light nine has to be in these three cells. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry. Okay, what I hadn't noticed is that now seven and nine are both looking at this cell. It's definitely an eight. Uh, so we've got the evens on the corners of the middle box. Oh, look, that means five has to be in this group with seven and nine. Oh, how amusing. Right, five has to either, oh, in fact, sorry, five there, five there, we can place five in the central box. Then we have this seven, nine pair. The other cells in the box have to be a one, three pair. Um, oh, I still don't know what else to do in row five. Two, three, eight, triple there. This can't be seven since we put a seven down here and it can't be eight. Uh -huh. So that's actually a nine. Look at that, the second cell on a three cell thermo is a nine. That's so weird when you're used to normal thermo Sudoku. So we get three and four down in column five there. That makes this two and one. So that's one, that has to be two now, yes. That makes this a three at the top. That fixes the four, three pair. Still not feeling like we can burst into beast mode here because I'd definitely do something wrong. Two, eight, one, nine. They're all resolved, so that's quite nice. That's a one naked single, seven, nine. We've got four, five, six to go here. Actually, that's a four naked single as well. Five, six pair there. Uh, this has become a seven, so we can get rid of seven out of those two. That's become a nine. Then we've got three six to place here. That pushes seven to the bottom corner. Eight and five to go in down there. Let's just get rid of the corner marks here because they're not necessary. And one and three here. They have been resolved now completely. This can't be nine. These can't be seven um, or nine because it's in the box. Yes, so that's a three eight pet. That's fine. This is eight. Actually, that was resolved before. That's what was confusing me is I hadn't seen what was under my under my nose before. Right, two three eight to go in column seven. Um, oh, okay, we're not finished. One in row, the last one in the grid in row seven is there. That's five, six, or eight. As a result, the last four in the grid must be here. Still not over. Um, ah, that seven's looking up to the top, right? That should improve my scanning. The last nine in the grid goes in there. We've got a three, eight pair now. So that is five or six. And this one, one, nine, four, seven. Ah, it's not, it's not finished. Um, oh, there must be something obvious I'm seeing. Seven, one, nine, eight, four. I'm sorry, that's something obvious. I'm not seeing, should have looked where the cursor was when I was saying that. Uh, two, three, 
Oh, this, look, it's on a thermo. That is the obvious thing. It can't be two or three anymore. There we go. So that does that triple. There we go. That's what it was. Hope my uh, cursor wasn't hovering over that thermo when I was wondering what I couldn't see. There's every chance it was. Five, eight, five. Now we can just be finishing off. This must be a six. This must be an eight. And five and six to place. And I reckon that solves the puzzle. Let's hit the tick. Looks good to me. Don't think we've messed up any of the thermos. That's a very neat puzzle, really, isn't it? It's intriguing how this this slow thermo does work, but it's it's so disconcerting to end up with a one nine nine thermo. <laughs> it's so unusual. Brilliant puzzle. Thanks to Mr. Toffee for that. To the guys who featured it in the Modern Art Sudoku Pack, quite correctly. Excellent puzzle. Thank you to uh, Pablo Picasso for the original inspiration as well. And uh, hope very much to see you on Cracking the Cryptic next time. Bye for now.